tell. This dead end street is always so damn busy. Dark tinted windows. You know the king don't like that. I guess, I guess they're garbage. has the stupidest laws it's weird anything that's like furniture or fabric or anything all new material like anytime you have like furniture of any kind unless it's seats in a car came with the automobile they don't have to have that tag but every article of furniture has to have a tag on it or any uh, article that you sit on or use as a furniture Massachusetts and California. <laughs> Crazy. But somehow or another, the seats in a factory, a factory built automobile, don't have to have that tag on them. But If it's a conversion van, it has to have the tags on there. Or if it's a motorhome, it has to have the tags on there. Everything but a but a car or you know a pickup truck. That's the only furnishing that I can think of that doesn't require a tag. bicycles in, the, in my pickup truck and I've I said that before in, in some of my videos because uh, you're a lot more likely to be pulled over by the police if you have bicycles in your scrap truck to the warehouse I just, I just want to get rid of them you know every uh, area in this country is different when it comes to scrapping like I heard from one I heard from one person on YouTube that their junkyard does not accept water heaters Like, like the junkyard banned water heaters from being dropped off there. I suppose it's because people had been coming in with frozen water heaters. <laughs> you know, 
this is something that happens in the north, okay? You fill the water heater you know, with water and you let it sit outside for a few days and it becomes rock solid. I mean, no water's going to come out of it. It's just all ice. And good way to add another 400 pounds to your scrap and a crack. <laughs> At two hundred dollars a ton. Come on, that frozen water heater is worth fifty bucks. Yeah, four of them. You got, you got two of them. You got a, you have a veggie in your pocket. You have a hundred dollars. What's not to like, right? referred to as a as a donut it's a 15 my wife's been driving on a donut spare tire for oh Probably about, about three weeks now. Honestly, I can't find the can't find the rim with the with the bad tire. I forgot where I put it. I don't know if it's in a backyard garage. I took it to the compound or if somebody stole it out of the backyard, I, I don't remember what's going on. Yeah, it's rough, man. Today is, uh, well, I'm, I'm taking you all along on a bunch of different videos, so Y'all can't see that I'm slacking. I'm not happy with my performance. It could be so much better. I'm not doing well enough. No, I didn't go to the I didn't go to the yard yesterday. I didn't go to the yard today.
come up with a justifiable amount of, of material where it's actually worth going to the yard in the first place. It's going to cost 20 bucks or so, 15, 20 dollars to go to the yard and back. So, if I spend a few hours on Saturday trying to process the material and I come up with 60 or 70 dollars worth of material, I mean, there's channels where the people are stoked about 60 or 70 dollars worth of stuff, like Midwestern TV, I mean, he's, he's all, he's all switched on about making that amount of money, which is, which is fine, but I don't know, I think he's got a real job and, and so does his wife. So if you can make a few extra dollars picking up garbage, that's cool, but I don't think he's living off of it. Not like me. I don't think anybody is living off of scrap like I am, alright? Oh, Jackpot Digger I think might be. Okay, so out of one guy, alright, there's, there's one guy, found a guy, we got a guy, um, on the wrong side of the street, found a guy, his name is Jackpot, I was going to throw it and then, <laughs> there's some dweeb driving the Buick, staring right back at me. Oh, uh, he's wondering why you're holding a camera. I'm holding it like a phone. I was getting prepared to launch that over the truck. And people slow down, like... Ugh. Such is the scrap life. This is... This is my life. This is, this is all day long, man. All, all freaking day long. Every waking hour of every day. Chevy like that, and you know, it makes me go, man, I want to buy one. You know, I want to buy another one cheap, but that's not happening. I don't got no money, man. You know, it wasn't always like this. Like During those uh, George Bush years, wow, there are scrappers that will admit to the fact that those were some of the best years. And there's a lot of people that have the mentality that scrap is really, it's, oh yeah, how much is it up to? They still think that it's $390 a ton, you know? They're living 10 years ago. That's how it was 10. Can't believe it's been 10 years, right? So, scrap's been, it's been up. For the past two years it's been doing all right but it's, it's not quite near where it was 10 years ago but, but it's sure better than it's been you know like uh those eight years those eight long years which seemed like 80 years those eight long years after george bush those were devastating okay as far as scrap is concerned, they were economically devastating. I mean, like, everything that I had built up, everything that I had built up around, you know, like living the scrap life had pretty much rotted away, like, and fell into complete.
complete disrepair. All of my trucks, I was down to just driving that white truck. I mean, I was really hitting the skids. I think I was about... three months away from becoming homeless once again because it, it just kept grinding on year after year after year oh well, king you could have got a job well remember being jobs don't last that's why I'm doing this goofy crap but I don't really care for it I mean I, it's, it's, I like it it's fine Man, I wouldn't touch the scrap life with a 10 foot pole if I didn't have to. I'd stay away from it. And the organization. 
Well, you have to be. I mean, you couldn't you couldn't possibly operate on that little shed if there was if there was stuff all over like I do. You know, like electric cords here and there and broken glass everywhere. It would be absolute madness. junk shop <laughs> that, that thing that garage is impeccable it's it's almost almost qualifies for surgery it's insane now you'll you'll never you'll never find me operating at that level Slow you down or stop it up because 
because they feel like you're getting one over them. Look at that, nothing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to upload this video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull over by the curb up there. And I'm going to text my daughter who's home alone. My day is just begun because I'm going to be going until about midnight at least. At the rate I've been going. You. See you in the next video.